You have seen our next guest on Top Chef Texas, where he was voted fan favorite. And today he's in our kitchen making honey nut squash with lentils, burrata, and pomegranate. Oh, my. Please welcome back our friend, Chef Chris Crary. Welcome Hi. back, Chris. Thank you. She's so, so happy to, to have you. Thank you this so much. This is very exciting. Yes, very I'm fun. really excited about this squash dish. Now, this may not be your typical squash. This is something that's called a honey nut squash? Honey nut squash, correct. Yeah, it's a new variety. It's only been around for a couple of years now. Um, you know, I found out from a local farmer from Weiser Farms that he'd started growing it a few years back, and now it's becoming the big rage in L.A. You can find it at a farmer's market, grocery stores, but definitely try and get to it if you can. It very, has thinner skin? Yeah, it's very similar to a butternut squash. has thinner skin, cooks faster. You can actually eat the skin. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, very interesting. And it's it's much. it seems it's more tiny. friendly because it's yeah. small. You don't feel yeah. like, oh, my gosh, how am I going to cut this? All right, easy so you're going to show us how yep. easy it is Thank to you. cut and cut. So we're just going to cut it in half. All right. Oh. Very easy, right? A big squash would not cut that easily. So you want to scoop out the seeds. Okay. And then uh, at one kitchen, we like to save those seeds. Okay. Uh, and we, we regrow them in our garden. Oh, my okay? gosh. That's right, because you actually grow your food yeah. that you I'll make. Take one. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to throw a little bit of olive oil on it, salt, pepper, and then we're going to pop it in the oven. For how long? For about uh, 12 to 15 minutes, 425 degrees. That's much faster yeah. than your regular. Much faster. But normally you would do it after you scoop the seeds out. Is that Correct. the idea? Yes, you scoop them right. out. Good, good. As you can see, Shirley's made her way back over here and this is enjoying delicious. the squash very much. So as is Cam and, and Orly hasn't said a word, so I know it's good. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, saying a lot, right? <laughs> so while that cooks in there, we are going to prepare our yes. lentils. And also another way to sort of kick up lentils. Because I love lentils, but they're not for everybody. Yeah. And you have made them far more interesting. We are going to spice these up like crazy. Crazy, okay, we have uh, coriander, cumin, curry powder. We got it all in there. Onion powder, garlic powder. Wow! Wow! Just throw this on. Okay. okay. Put that on Just the water. Stove top? Yeah, we're gonna put it on Just the all together. Top. You don't all toast together. any of the spices. No, nope, don't okay. have to toast it because trust me, there's gonna be enough flavor there. All right. Okay. I am really out. enjoying so this, we'll everybody. Squash is in the oven. Yeah. We'll get this cooked for and about. And how long does that take? About 15 minutes. Okay, so, so that comes together pretty quickly gone. as well. Yeah. So then we're gonna take our squash yeah, out. Take our squash out. And our lentils are prepared over here. Yeah. And we stuff them. We're we stuff, stuff our them. squash. I mean, it's there like the go. perfect little bowl there inside, of that, yeah. inside of those suckers. It is the perfect little bowl. That's oh, my God. Why I love and it, doesn't right? it make lentils Nature's so bowl. much more yeah. interesting? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, That's so we're going to fill it up. Now, normally you would pop it back in the oven for about four more minutes just to, you know, bring it all together, get that curry flavor into the honey nut squash. Oh, my gosh. We're I just mean, going to build away. Each of these dishes, the honey nut squash and the lentils on their own would be equally as delicious just because of the way you've seasoned them and prepared them. But together, it's a, yeah. just a, takes it to a different level completely. Exactly. And, and I like to take all my fall favorites and add them to one dish. So we have... So the burrata. Burrata. Oh. Pomegranate seeds. We have some pistachios. What an interesting combination. It is. Yeah, you have your, yeah. your texture, your crunch. How did you come sweet. up with this? I don't know. I have a lot of weird dreams. <laughs> well, I'll tell you this. Like you don't so only cook. Chefs. Debbie, you mentioned this a little bit earlier, yeah. but you don't only cook the, the food in your restaurant. You grow it right ah, there, so cool. which is just so That's spectacular. Great. Yeah, we have a 2,000 square foot garden <gasps> look at, out look back. Look at that. We have, uh, we have bees. We have an apiary. Oh. All right, this is a little pomegranate sure, molasses. I've got to go. Yeah, I'm oh, Do you have a beekeeper? Yeah. Uh, we do. And myself and uh, Bill from Bill's Bees. Whoa! Wow. You well, do you harvest know. your own honey? We do, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. awesome. We actually harvested wow. our first round uh, last week. That's you, fantastic, and it's so good for you. Yeah, it's delicious, too. <laughs> the, the, po the All the pollination, what is it, the bee propylis? Oh, my gosh. Is that Excuse what it is? Me? Bee propylis, is that how you say I'm it? I'm not that deep into the bee game yet. Oh, but. no. <laughs> your guy will know. The bee propylis yeah. helps you with allergies, local oh, okay. allergies, because Alexandra has allergies, and the doctor told me to have her eat bee propylis. Like bee pollen? Mm. Yes, exactly okay. same thing. So we're just going to finish up a little olive oil and then salt. Boom. Okay. okay. Boom. Have Here a little bit go. of it. Oh, my Let's God. Look at that goodness. Look at how beautiful yeah. Too much goodness that. on one plate. It's incredible. It's too pretty to uh, Thank you so much, Chris. Uh, for more from Chris, you can find him on Instagram, at Chris Crary. And if you need a hearty dinner to make for your family tonight, make sure you grab the recipe for this at HallmarkChannel.com.